basi na toa shukrani zangu kwenu nyote kwa kuwepo mpaka muda huu saa ya mwisho kabisa ya kufunga mjadala wetu huu sasa hatutakuwa na utuba yoyote bali tutakuwa na mambo kadhaa ambayo ni kama mutasari wa au ripoti ya muda mfupi ya matokeo ya mkutano huu Aa, kwa kifupi ni kwamba tumefanikiwa sana Aha. tumefanikiwa sana yale malengo actually tumefanikiwa zaidi ya tulivyotarajia kwa sababu wakati tunatoa mialiko na wakati nawalika kwa mfano mama zangu hapa mama Mongela Matibaijuka mama Megji speaker Makinda nasema hivi watakuja kweli mpaka watu wakiwa mama zako wanaweza watawasije na hamna tatizo kwa hiyo eh, lakini kwa mshangao wakakubali wote eh? tena kwa urahisi kwa hiyo kuna hapa kuna dalili nzuri na wakati tunapanga tukapanga shughuli ya kisasa kabisa niliambia timu yangu kama mkutano uwe katika viwango ili kutoa uzito wa jambo lenyewe uwe wa viwango vya kimataifa kwa maana ya mada utaratibu ratiba kila kitu sasa wasiwasi je watu watakuja kwa sababu ili jambo gumu hali eleweki eleweki na tulijaribu kufanya fanya kidogo uh, kabla mkutano huu mwezi wa sita wakati tunafanya ziara kukatokea maneno maneno hivi uh, sasa je watakuja watu uh, tukasema tuweke mfumo wa registration alafu tupime uh, kama baada ya siku mbili tatu tukiona siku ya kwanza watu sita Siku ya pili watu nane tuseme bwana hii kitu samani sana labda mwakadi. <laughs> Lakini tulivyoweka mfumo wa kujisajili na tukaenda kwenye vyombo vya habari na kuelezea nini tunataka kufanya na tukapata moyo na msukumo wa Mheshimiwa Rais. Tukatoka kwa nguvu. Siku ya kwanza tukapata watu zaidi ya moja Siku ya pili nilipoenda kufanya media tour kwa siku tukapata watu 347 siku moja wajiandikisha siku ya pili mia mbili. ziofika siku siku ya tano, tukaogopa sasa tufunge registration kwa sababu watu wamezidi uwezo wa ukumbi wenyewe kwa hiyo tukabaini kwamba hili jambo kumbe linawagusa na linawavuta wa Tanzania ni kwamba walikuwa natafuta tu mahala na jukwaa na fursa ya kutoa mawazo yao na mchango wao kuhusu ili jambo. Kwa hiyo hamasa ambayo mmeitoa ninyi kwa kuja ninyi mnadhani mnatupongeza sisi kwa kuandaa na nini lakini sisi tunawashukuru kweli nyie kwa sababu mmetuhamasisha na mmetuinspire sana kufanya hiki kitu. Kwa sababu kungekuwa hakuna interest tungeona tumefeli. Kwa hiyo ujio wenu umetutia nguvu sana. Uh, umetutia nguvu na ukafanya maandalizi yetu sasa tu tuyafanye kwa confidence tukiwa na imani kwamba tutakuwa na mjadala mzuri. Kwa na washukuru sana 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 kwa kuja na sio kuja tu kwa kushiriki kwa kina. Tumepata kumbi zimejaa na tumechukua kumbi za ziada vile vile. Uh, na watu wamekaa wakati wote. Si kawaida mkutano wa siku mbili mpaka saa hii ya kufunga saa moja bado watu wapo. Huwa si tunajuana mikutano yetu. Mikutano yetu kwa kawaida ambayo hasa Mheshimiwa Rais anahudhuria mkutano unaisha pale rais anapoondoka. Eh. Uwe ni wa siku moja au ni wa siku mbili. Eh Mheshimiwa Rais akishaondoka basi asilimia kama stini ya uhudhuriaji wanaondoka. Lakini huu mkutano umekuwa tofauti mpaka sasa uh, watu mpo 
Na labda tu ni wambia mama zangu siri moja ni kwamba tulikuwa na wasiwasi sana na interest ya watu mpaka siku ya mwisho. Kwa hili jopo hili la wamama wazito tukaliweka muda huu. Kwa watu maini kwamba litawabakisha watu. Na nashukuru mmewabakisha watu. Eh. Eh. Kwa sababu lingekuwa jopo jingine hivi jepesi jepesi sina hakika sana. Kwa hiyo na washukuru sana. Na washukuru sana. Kwa hume tumepata masa kubwa sana na tunaondoka kwa nguvu pia kwa sababu mheshimiwa rais naye kwanza ujio wake lakini na maneno yake yametupa hamasa pia kubwa sana sana kama kulikuwa na shaka hivi fulani hivi kuhusu uh, support ya kisiasa uh, basi jana imeondoka kabisa Manake rais ni kiongozi wa serikali lakini ni mkuu wa nchi. Na amezungumza kama kiongozi wa serikali lakini mkuu wa nchi vile vile. Na jambo akilitaka mkuu wa nchi sisi ka, sisi ni maafisa. Eh? Kazi yetu ni kutekeleza. Na serikali yoyote inapata heshima duniani inapotekeleza yale yanayosemwa, yanayoelekezwa, yanayotakiwa na wakubwa wa nchi. Lasi hivyo hakuna serikali na hakuna nchi kama kiongozi wa nchi anataka jambo na halitokei. Naomba nirudie. Hakuna nchi wala hakuna serikali kama kiongozi wa nchi wa se, na mkuu wa nchi na kiongozi wa serikali anataka jambo litokee alafu halitokei. Kwa hiyo kipimo chetu sisi sasa cha wadilifu utii kwa serikali na kwa kiongozi wetu ni kufanya hili ambalo yeye anataka alifanyike. Sasa uzuri hatukuagizwa sisi peke yetu, Wizara Nishati. Tumeagizwa serikali nzima. Na nashukuru kwamba Mheshimiwa Rais kwa hekima yake na mimi nilikuwa naogopa sana. Kwa sababu kwenye serikali humu kuna ofisi zina coordination mandate na kuna ofisi hazina kwa mfano hapa uratibu manake ikulu maana kula kuna utumishi na ni ofisi kuu yenye ina, ina convening power na ina coordination functions ofisi ya waziri mkuu ina uratibu wa sera na ina convening power ofisi ya makamu wa rais ina uratibu wa mazingira na muungano na ina convening power Hazina eh, ina convening power. Sina hakika uratibu convening power kwa sababu ya mfuko. Eh? Mkiitwa hazina lazima muende. Kwa hiyo wengine wote sisi ukitaka kuita wenzako ni struggle, sio? Wewe ni ya line ministry unataka unasemaje? Unataka nini? Eh, niko busy. Kwa hiyo tukao tunaogopa kwamba tukipewa sisi tuta struggle kuita wenzetu kwa sababu ni mtambuka sana. Lakini tumeshukuru sana Mheshimiwa Rais kwa hekima yake akisema mwenyekiti awe waziri mkuu. Kwa sababu gani? Ni rahisi ku convene. Kutuita na ni rahisi ku ratibu. Lakini kama alivyosema sisi tupo tutashiriki kwenye uratibu na tutaongozwa na waziri mkuu. Na kwa hili jambo limetoka kwa rais linasimamiwa na waziri mkuu linaratibiwa na sisi. Kwa lipo kwenye mikono salama kabisa. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru kwa mwongozo uliotoka jana. Sasa wakati tunaanza jambo hili tulikuwa na malengo ambayo tuliyataja uh, jana na mtayaona kwenye kitabu kile na sisi tunadhani tumefanikiwa. Tumefanikiwa kwenye mambo kadhaa. Kwanza tumetafakari kwa pamoja na kupata uelewa mkubwa zaidi miongoni mwetu kuhusu hali halisi ya nishati ya kupikia hapa nchini. Kuna watu wengi walikuwa hawaelewi. Ngoja kwanza. Labda ni ngoja nisimame. Jana wakati tunakuja hapa nilielekeza tufanye survey. Eh, tuliweka hapa QR code tukasema scan form itakuja mkaja za form baadhi yenu, si ndio? 
Si mlipiga kura jana mlipata fomu ya kujaza? Sasa haya ndio matokeo. Walishiriki watu kama mia tano hivi na zaidi, mia sita. Sasa haya ndio matokeo ya mkutano wa jana. Amini usiamini walio shiriki mkutano huu wengi ni wanaume kuliko wanawake. Asilimia 61. Asilimia 61. Pili umri wa wastan wa washiriki ni miaka 34. Kwa mkutano huu umehudhuriwa na vijana wengi sana. Na naweza kutumia. Eh, narudi nyuma badala mbele. Na washiriki kwa walio shiriki wale 400 mtaona private sector ndio walioongoza development partners walikuwa wengi serikalini na general public na kwa ujumla uh, ndiko wanakotokea wangapi walikuwa wanajishughulisha na clean cooking walio shiriki uh, ni wanne kati ya watu kumi walio shiriki kwenye mkutano huu walikuwa wanajishughulisha na ile eneo. Kwa utabaini asilimia sitini ya washiriki wa huo mkutano walikuwa hawashughuliki kabisa na ili jambo. Na kwetu ni vizuri kwa sababu ndio tulikuwa tunawatafuta. Mm. Tulikuwa tunawatafuta watu ambao hawashiriki. Watu wanne kati ya kumi tu ndio walikuwa wanash... wamekuja kwa sababu wako kwenye ile eneo na walikuwa hawana namna lazima waje. Kwa mkutano huu sisi tunashukuru ume attract interest ya watu ambao hawakuwa kwenye jambo hili. Na hao ndio tunawataka sisi wajishughulishe zaidi. Na mategemeo yao yalikuwa nini? Uh, asilimia kubwa asilimia 65 walikuwa wanataka kuelewa kwa ujumla Eh, kupata uelewa pamoja kuhusu hali ya mapiga nchini. Yaani wengi walikuja kwa sababu walikuwa curious. Tutaka kujua hali ikoje na kadhalika na kadhalika. Uh, awareness of the topic. Je, unafahamu lengo la serikali la miaka kumi kuhusu nishati asilimia 64 walikuwa hawana uelewa wote kuhusu mipango ya serikali kuhusu jambo hili. Kwa tunashukuru kwamba wengi waliohudhuria walikuwa wana awareness ya chini sana. Na tulivauliza nadhani kuna matatizo gani? Asilimia kubwa walikuwa wanasema ukosefu wa mipango national roadmap asilimia ishirini nyingine lack of uh, adequate supply side solution nyingine finance kwa utaona kwa sehemu kubwa uh, watu walikuwa nadhani hayo ndio mambo makubwa yanayozuia kuelekea kwenye nishati safi vikwazo vya kuelekea kwenye nishati safi ya kupikia haya ni mambo mengine je kuna ugumu gani kiasi cha kutambua washirika kwenye jambo hili. Uh, wengi walikuwa wanasema kuna ugumu. Uh, kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni survey ya chapchapu tu jana ili tupe picha ya aina washiriki. Kwa hiyo tumetoa survey mpya tunaomba mshiriki afu baadaye tutazame kabla na baada. Uh, itatusaidia. Na ndivyo tunavotaka tufanye kazi kwa kupata picha angalau ya juu juu ya nini tuna, tuna, tunafanya. Kwa hiyo tume, tumefanikiwa kwenye mkutano huu kwanza kwa kupata olewa pamoja pili tumepata uzoefu kutoka nchi nyingine kama jopo la liloongozwa na rafiki yetu uh, balozi kutoka India tumechambua kwa kina sana na kujadili sana sera, mipango, mikakati uh, mambo ya ruzuku na kadhalika uh, katika jambo hili na 
pia tumeanza na tutaendelea kutafuta mwafaka au uelewa pamoja baina ya wadau kuhusu hatua mbalimbali na wajibu wa kila mmoja wetu kuhusu kule tunakotaka kwenda lakini kubwa zaidi tumepata maagizo mahususi ya Mheshimiwa Rais ambao ni mafanikio makubwa kwa sababu Mheshimiwa Rais angekuja akatoa hotuba tu ya kutushukuru kutupongeza na kututakia heri na angekuwa ametusaidia amekuepo lakini hotuba yake imekuwa na maelekezo mahususi kwa hiyo imetupa mwongozo na mwanga kuhusu jambo hili kwa hiyo kama mnafahamu aliagiza kiundwe kikosi kikundi kazi na kikundi kazi na kikosi kazi ni vitu vili tofauti kama mtakumbuka ni muhimu kutofautisha kikosi kazi ni task force hmm? kikundi kazi ni working group kwa kilichoundwa maana task force ziko nyingi working group huwa ziko chache kwa ilichoundwa jana ni a working group hmm? sio kikosi kazi na kita sisi ahadi yetu ni kwamba kwa kweli itakuwa working group in the real sense of the word na tuta kesho uh, kazi yangu itakuwa ni kuandika dokezo uh -huh. kwa viongozi kwa mheshimiwa waziri mkuu kwamba yalitoka haya maelekezo mapendekezo yetu kuhusu muundo utaratibu mfumo utaratibu wa kazi wa shiriki wa hicho kikundi kazi kiwe hivi mapendekezo yetu kuhusu ratiba ya kazi iwe hivi yani hatulali hatungoji ngoja wiki ijayo tukae kikao hapana kesho dokezo linaenda eh, kuhusu kuanza kwa kikosi kazi hiki ili mambo bado yawe moto moto na imani yangu ni kwamba tutaitwa mapema na wote mtajua mapema haraka sana kuhusu matokeo ya hili jambo sisi tunataka mwaka mpya ukipinduka tuwe tumeshapiga hatua kidogo uh, na imani yetu ni kwamba hiyo roadmap na strategy dira na mkakati ambao ndio utakuwa matokeo ya ya kikundi kazi hicho basi itakuwa kwa namna shirikishi pia mheshimiwa rais ameelekeza jambo kubwa pia jana kwamba kuanzishwe mfuko wa nishati safi ya kupikia hapa nchini sio jambo dogo na kiongozi wa nchi akielekeza sisi ndio tunaenda chini sasa kuchambua na uchambuzi unakuja na kiongozi anatoa dira ya jumla nataka mfuko kazi yetu sisi ni kutoa mapendekezo ya mandate function structure ya mfuko na financing yake eh? tangu jana yale mawazo wagizo lilivotoka kichwani kwangu yamekuwa ni mambo manne eh? functions mandate structure financing ya mfuko je uanzishwe kisheria je uanzishwe kwa decree eh? kwa sisi tutatoa mapendekezo mapema sana ya mambo yote ya. ili mambo yakaenda vizuri mfuko uwe operational mapema zaidi na uzuri siku hizi kuna namna nyingi za kupata fedha za hizi mifuko za hii mifuko eh? climate financing bond issuance na kadhalika na kadhalika kwa hiyo imani yetu ni kwamba ile ahadi ya kwanza ya mheshimiwa rais aliyotoa ya kibudget itakuwa ni njia moja hapo lakini tukiuanzisha vizuri ukao na muundo mzuri utaweza kupata manufaa makubwa sana ya fursa nyingi za fedha huko duniani na itatusaidia sisi katika nchi. Kwa hiyo hilo pia tutalifanya haraka sana. Waziri wa mazingira ana uwezo wa kutoa maelekezo yoyote uh, kuhusu hifadhi ya mazingira na maelekezo yake hayatapingwa na mtu yote na yakigongana na sheria nyingine basi hayo ndio yanakuwa yana, yana prevail. Kwa tutatumia instrument zenye nguvu kidogo kuweza kuinforce hii kitu. Lakini maelekezo ya rais pia peke yake pamoja na kwamba yanatosha 
lakini tutayapa haya maelekezo instrument uh, ya kisheria zaidi kwa hilo tutalifanya na watakaweza kuhama mapema itakuwa vizuri sasa kwa wale ndugu zangu hii ndo fursa ya kuenda huko wale wanaofunga mitambo ya biogas na kadhalika na kadhalika mimi sitangoja hii matangazo ingekuwa mimi leo leo ningeanza kuitengeneza mwenyewe hiyo orodha uh, kwa sababu hii ndio inatoa fursa ya ujasiria mali na biashara na ajira uh, katika jambo hili lakini pia tuta tumeelekezwa pia kwamba mjadalau ushuke zaidi kwa ngazi za almashauri uh, niongea na waziri wa Tamisemi atatoa maelekezo kwa wakuu wa mikoa na wakuu wa wilaya kwamba kama tulivyokaa hivi na kwenyewe kule kule kwenye almashauri zote na wenyewe wakae hivi hivi kwa kuzingatia mazingira mahususi ya kule walipo na pia kama njia moja wapo ya kujenga awareness kwa hiyo litafanyika na litaongeza uh, watu wengi kuelewa jambo hili zaidi sasa mwisho kuna mambo ambayo hayatangoja kikosi kazi na kadhalika sisi tutayafanya wenyewe kama wizara kwa kushirikiana na washirika wa maendeleo lakini kabla hapo niseme tu kwamba tuna tunawategemea sana washirika wa maendeleo kama rafiki zetu tunaamini kwamba wanayo nafasi kubwa lakini tunaamini kwamba pia sisi wenyewe kama nchi kwa sababu rasilimali zetu hizi ni sisi wenyewe misitu miti uh, na wananchi hawa ni wa Tanzania wenzetu mama zetu dada zetu wadogo zetu wajibu wa kwanza ni wa kwetu uh, wenyewe kufanya jambo hili lakini tutashirikiana sana na washirika wa maendeleo kwa sababu ni shati safi ya kupikia sasa hivi ni ajenda kubwa sana ya kidunia uh, kama ambavyo zilivyo ajenda nyingine nyingine kwa kuna mambo ambayo si tutafanya kwa mfano la kwanza ambalo limezungumzwa sana hapa katika mjadala huu ni utafiti wa kina kuhusu hali halisi ya nishati ya kupikia kwa sababu takwimu zimekuwa zinatajwa sana katika mkutano huu na kuna baadhi ya watu wamelilia sana usahihi wa takwimu kwa hiyo sisi katika miezi mi, mitatu ijayo tutaanza project ya kufanya a very thorough baseline survey na tunashirikiana na European Union kwenye jambo hilo na pesa ipo na kazi hii itafanyika ili tunapolienenda jambo hili but, na kikosi kazi kitaka kikundi kazi kitakapoanza kazi basi kazi yake iwe inapata faida ya ushahidi wa kiutafiti na takwimu sio kubunibuni kwamba sisi nadhani kule gairo watu wanakata sana misitu afu basi inaisha wanakata kwa kiasi gani kwa kasi gani miti gani kwa nini na kadhalika kwa hivyo ndio tutakavyoenda kwa kushirikiana na wenzetu wa European Union. Initiative ya pili ya wizara ambayo tutafanya ni kuna kitu tunaita National Gas Utilization Master Plan. Uh, mimi nimeikuta wizarani nilivyoisoma mara ya kwanza pamoja kwamba ni maamuma nikagundua ina changamoto. Tukaitana wataalamu wakisema kweli ina changamoto. Kwa hiyo tumekubaliana tutai update uh, na tunazo resources. Kwa hiyo huu unaitwa mpango kabambe wa matumizi ya gesi asilia. Make kumekuwa na maneno gesi mtwara haionekani inaenda wapi mbona iko hapa haifiki majumbani. Hii National Gas Utilization Master Plan ndio itatoa hayo majawabu. Itaweka mazingira ya uwekezaji katika kusambaza gesi majumbani uh, kwa sekta binafsi itaweka mazingira ya kutenga gesi kwa kila matumizi. Gesi ina matumizi ya viwandani, ina matumizi kwenye usafirishaji, ina matumizi kwenye mapishi. Kama huna utilization master plan ya uhakika, hawezi kufika. Kwa hii tutafanya pesa tunayo na kazi hii itaisha ndani ya miezi mitatu itatusaidia. Tuna plan nyingine tunaita LPG promotion plan hapa imezunguzwa mitungi 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 eh? sio mitungi yule wimbo yeah. kwa wale vijana sio 
vitongi ya gesi uh, tutakaa na wadau na shukuru wameunda chama chao uh, sisi tunazo resources za kutengeneza promotion tulikuwa na mawazo ya juu juu ya namna ya kupromote ifike kila kona katika nchi ambayo itahusisha financing instruments mbalimbali mbali. ikiwemo bima ikiwemo mkopo kidogo kidogo ikiwemo mita ikiwemo na kadhalika na kadhalika kwa na hiyo uh, Mike baada ya muda gani naisha hiyo promotion plan Mezi mitatu na yenyewe Tunazo initiative nyingine ambazo ningependa bwana Rea njo za kwetu engineer Said Njo useme vizuri Sasa huyu ni mtu wangu pale na yeye tumejitutumua na hii initiative ya ili jambo la mapishi safi na salama linasimamiwa na wakala wa nishati vijijini nimemwambia aseme mambo fulani mazuri tunayofanya mwaka huu uh, kwenye mapishi safi na salama Mheshimiwa Waziri na mimi naungana na wengine wote kupongeza kwa kukamilisha ile jambo kubwa na mipango yote ambayo umeelezea kwa upande wa wakala wa nishati vijijini ya kwanza mimi naitwa Hassan Saidi ni mtumishi wa wakala wa nishati vijijini kwa upande wetu ambao ni wakala unaofanya kazi chini ya wizara ya nishati tumeshakuja na mpango kwa ajili ya kusaidia kufikisha nishati bora ya kupikia vijijini na kwa mwaka huu wa fedha tumetenga bilioni tatu zikitoka serikalini na e, grant kutoka World Bank na pesa hizo tumeziganya kwenye mafungu matatu moja tutashirikiana na TPDC e, tunatoa capital subsidy kama ambavyo tunafanya umeme na Tanesco na upande wa kusambaza gesi asilia tunafanya na TPDC hii ni safari ambayo tumeianza na tutaanza kwenye mikoa ya majadiliano ma, majaribio lindi na na, na pwani hiyo ni moja na la pili tunatarajia kusambaza mitungi ya gesi LPG kwa kutumia RBF Result Based Financing Mi, tunatarajia kusambaza mitungi laki moja na pia tunakuwa na mpango wa kusambaza pia majiko banifu yani majiko bora ambayo yanatumia biomass hii kuni na mkaa kama ilivyoelezwa asubuhi sio rahisi watu wote kuhamisha kutoka kwenye hizi traditional eh, eh, forms za, za nishati za kupikia kuwapeleka kwenye nishati bora. Kwa hiyo tutaanza waendelee kutumia hizo nishati lakini katika mifumo bora zaidi. Na haya majiko bora tunayozungumzia sio jiko mradi tu linaitwa bora. Jana Mheshimiwa Rais wakati anakuja kwenye banda letu la Rea alitoa angalizo kama haya majiko mnayosema bora mengi yana mashaka. Sisi tunazungumzia majiko bora bora kweli na ubora wa majiko unabebwa na vitu viwili moja ni thermal efficiency ule uwezo wake wa kubadilisha ile fuel ambayo iko kwenye mkaa na kuni kuipeleka kwenye heat na kuweza kupikia chakula na pili ni kuziwia utokaji wa gesi ambazo zina athari kwa ufupi mwakani tunaanza na mipango hiyo na mipango yetu itaendelea na kama ilivyosema mheshimiwa waziri hili jambo ni kubwa sisi lea ni sehemu moja tu ya watekelezaji wa upelekaji wa nishati bora za kupikia vijijini kwa upande wa serikali lakini tunaamini tutakuwa na engagement ya kutosha kwenye private sector kufanya ile jambo mheshimiwa waziri naomba ni watoe wasiwasi watu jana wakati tunaongea kwenye vyombo vya habari watu wengi walituma mesi sasa mnaacha umeme mnaenda kwenye nishati ya kupikia hapana Shughuli za kuendelea kusambaza umeme zinaendelea tena kwa kasi kubwa zaidi na tutaendelea pia kusambaza kusaidia usambazaji wa nishati bora ya kupigia vijijini. Mheshimiwa asante sana. Asante sana. Sasa wa, wakati mimi nimeteuliwa nafasi nilikuwa nafanya sample nauliza watu niambieni kirefu cha rea. Eh? Na zaidi ya nusu walikuwa wanasema rural electrification agency actually sio rural electrification ni rural energy agency hmm. ile e pale wanadhani ni electrification na wengi kabisa kwao nikawaita ama bwana nikamwambia sasa ninyi kuna shughuli gani ya nishati zaidi ya kupeleka umeme tunafanya kwa hamna kwa kwa mara ya kwanza 
watu wa Rea ndio tumetenga fedha safari bilioni kumi za kwetu na zizobaki za washirika wa maendeleo kufanya nje ya umeme kufanya nishati katika ujumla wake na hii ya majiko banifu itabidi tuzungumze kwa sababu sisi tunaenda kwenye nishati safi salamu kwa tunapeleka mitungi laki moja safari tunaunganisha vijiji kwa gesi ile ya Mtwara uh, maeneo mangapi mia kule Lindi na mwana baya bwana kwa hiyo na tunawapa TPDC bilioni sita uh, kwa ajili ya, ku, ya kusambaza hapa mjini zaidi kwa tumeanza kidogo kidogo huu mkutano sio mwanzo sisi wenyewe huko nyuma tulikuwa tushaanza kuhangaika na kutenga viela kidogo na kadhalika kwa hiyo tutaendelea kwa hiyo rea tutagawa mitungi laki moja nadhani tutaongeza nadhani tukikaa tutaongeza inaweza kafika laki mbili uh, mwaka huu uh, kabla ya mfuko kabla ya budget inayokuja sasa pia waliohudhuria mkutano wa leo uh, leo asubuhi hapa kwenye plenary ya kwanza kulikuwa na mjadala mkali sana ku... mzee wangu professor Shango ma... yupo Romanos uh... yuko uh -huh. kwa hiyo huyu mzee wangu siku nyingi tangu niko mazingira tulikuwa naye eh anaitwa mtata kwa leo nikamwalika alikuwa hajalikwa na watu wangu nikamwalika aje hapa atuchokoze na kweli akatuchokoza eh na kwa hiyo mzee shongo mandoto yako itatimia kwamba mapema mwakani sisi wizara tumeshapata pesa tutatengeneza kitu kinaitwa uh, mkakati wa nishati ya tungamotaka au biomass strategy kwa sababu ni kweli hii nishati ya kuni na mkaa ipo hatuwezi kutengeneza sera kwa sababu sera ni nishati ipo lakini tutatengeneza mkakati wa matumizi na udhibiti wa nishati hii kwa hiyo ni initiative nyingine ambayo tutafanya ya biomass strategy mwisho ningependa kumwalika rafiki yangu Elizabeth na Lamin wa EU common stage hawa ni washirika wetu wa maendeleo ambao na wenyewe tumebanana na wenyewe tumesema lazima watangaze kitu hapa kama matokeo ya jambo hili sasa mwezi uliopita mwezi uliopita nilikuwa Norway uh, we, last month it was, was on last month in Norway when it was in end of september end of september yes. nilikuwa norway na nilikaa siku nyingi week eh, in oslo na nilikuwa na mkutano mzuri sana na waziri wa maendeleo ya kimataifa wa norway minister for international development kwenye mkutano ule sikuongelea kitu kingine chochote zaidi ya nishati safi ya kupikia na nikasema norway sasa tunaomba mjielekeze huko na mimi nikatangulia nikamwacha balozi so i left you there after after we finish the meeting and i understand you have something to say after i left so please uh carry carry okay. asante sana uh, wasiri uh, wasiri wa nshafta uh, january makamba it's a pleasure to be here and honge rena sana for this conference it's been wonderful it's been well organized international standards it's been on a very important subject uh, of transition from dirty energy to clean energy. And it has been very timely as you are now leaving for uh, the International Climate Conference, uh, the COP27. And I think the, at the global level, there is increased commitment because there's an urgency that we need to see action to address climate change. And discussing um, clean cooking is uh, very important in that perspective. So let me say uh, once again that this conference has not just been any conference. I've attended many conferences discussing clean energy and throughout my long career and 
uh, I must say that this was different because you presented you presented all the arguments. I remember when I first came to Tanzania and we had this small group of ambassadors meeting in your office and we discussed uh, the challenge of charcoal. And we had long discussions, very good ideas, but we were so few and we didn't have the, the mechanisms for bringing it to the level we have seen today. Yeah. So now I think the difference is that you've presented all the arguments um, in a broad perspective, not only environment, uh, not only uh, gender, uh, but health, children, um, preventing sexual-based uh, violence, providing more time for more studies for children, for more productive economic activities for women. And I think you've taken it uh, in the whole integrated perspective. And you presented a platform uh, for the president uh, so that she could be able to come with her vision, which is a, a holistic perspective, an integrated pers perspective, seen from environment, climate, uh, energy, health, education, and gender, uh, which you need to solve this. Maybe a small problem, but as she said, it has a lot of impact and consequences. So without this holistic perspective, I think Tanzania will not be able to move uh, as you have been mandated to do. So yes, when we met in Oslo, we had a good dialogue with our Minister for International Development and she said, yes, Norway is a great champion for clean cooking. We talked about many things, but that was one of them. And we have supported many global, regional initiatives from programs with the World Bank, with the UN, but also the Global uh, Clean Cooking Alliance. And you know, they have some convening power, and there was this meeting in Accra. This was supported by Norway. Uh, and we are glad that you also have this national dialogue in Tanzania, like we have had over the last two days. So we are ready to work with you. We have been in Tanzania for 60 years. We have a partnership on energy for 50 years. We have worked on hydropower, on institution strengthening, education, uh, you name it. So clean cooking could be also part of our partnership. Will be. Will be. <laughs> <laughs> In addition, I would also like to add that Norway is a, a close partner with Tanzania on climate issues. And uh, we also had a visit of our Minister of International Development to Tanzania yeah. early September. And you just missed her by a day or so. But we had good discussions with the President on the need for more action on climate issues. And we have a long-standing partnership, which we are ready to renew. And I think maybe there will be discussions during COP27 for that. I'll see her also in, in yeah. So uh, please remind her on this, because I think uh, uh, clean cooking should be seen in that perspective. Uh, and thirdly, let me also say that Norway is a renowned partner on gender issues and women empowerment. And I think uh, we have heard today very strong voices from my friend, <laughs> Anna Tebajuka, from Gertrud Mongela, on the need to also see this as uh, clean cooking should be a liberation of women, uh, should be human rights for women. So in that holistic perspective, we are ready to work with you. Uh, and you've got a lot of advice today yes. uh, to see this in a holistic perspective, uh, not only uh, money and projects and technology and finance, that's important, but I think what has been said about education, communication, awareness raising to get everybody on board, like you've had everybody on board here today. I think that's important as you walk in the future. So let us work together. We are ready to partner with you and uh, we are ready to be invited to the office and discuss it. Hongir right. Sana. Asante Sana. For you, we will talk, but uh, we, we had a good space with the minister and, and the rest. So, European Union, uh, as Kamamu Skebalozi, Wao Yuzi, 
ni washirika wetu wakubwa we work together very well there is a, a 17 million euro uh, committed to clean cooking by the European Union we spoke about more and uh, we are going to meet some big European Union Commission people in Egypt and we'll talk about more resources for clean cooking uh, but kwa hiyo wenzetu hawa kama alivyosema balozi wao jana wameweka pesa nyingi sana kwenye euro milioni 17 na tunataka waweke nyingi zaidi uh, sisi tunataka tuwe na limitless resources for clean cooking yani tuwe na pesa ambazo zinatosha na kuzidi kwenye ili jambo uh, kwa resource mobilization pia ni jambo kubwa lakini kwa sababu ni washirika wetu tunataka ajaonge kidogo kuhusu wanachofanya na wanachotaka kufanya kwenye jambo hili so welcome so I have already a good news. It's a 30 million euro. So you see, we have already increased. <laughs> so in just a few, uh, but I will explain further uh, in more details. So, so distinguished guest, uh, uh, Mr. Makamba, uh, ladies and gentlemen, honorable mamas, which inspired us today. Thank you so much. Uh, so as well, very impressed by, uh, by the organization of this uh, event. We spoke uh, only in September only <laughs> about the organization of this conference. And uh, when you presented us uh, your plans, we were very much impressed, uh, supportive of course, but uh, uh, said already it was a challenge. And I see that you have more than uh, achieved the challenge because it's really impressive what uh, you've been able to do in uh, so few weeks. So congratulations uh, for that. So with regard to the European Union, uh, uh, we support the government of Tanzania to move to a more sustainable and viable energy sector which can sustain social and economic development. In this context, the EU has in place a number of ongoing initiatives in the energy sector. We work uh, together with the government on uh, energy sector reform. We work on uh, electricity in rural areas and uh, the director of uh, the Rural Energy Agency uh, has uh, just before explained the type of action that is uh, carried out. Uh, we work on energy efficiency, and of course, we work also on clean cooking and uh, renewable energies. So the total amount of funds dedicated by the European Union for the energy sector in Tanzania is of uh, 437 billion Tanzanian chilling. So in the context of this conference, we have developed uh, this uh, sizable program on clean cooking that you just spoke about. The program is called uh, Integrated Approach to Sustainable Cooking Solution. It's a total allocation of 30 million euro, meaning 72 billion Tanzanian chilling for the period 21-25. It is actually, for the European Union, the biggest program that we have in Sub-Saharan Africa related to clean cooking, by the way. It will be implemented because I heard many of our regional commissioners uh, it will be implemented in Dar es Salaam, Pwani, Morogoro, Dodoma, Mwanza, Tanga, and Tabora. But as we said, we'll, let's see in the future, let's talk. <laughs> and the overall objective is to uh, contribute to reduce climate change impact in Tanzania. Uh, the specific objectives of the program are to increase the production of sustainable wood fuel in rural areas and increase usage of modern and clean cooking solution in urban areas, because we know that it is in urban areas that uh, the challenge uh, can be uh, the most important. So the launch of the program was done uh, on December 21 in Dodoma with the Deputy Minister of Energy and with the head of the EU delegation, Manfredo Fanti. And it, uh, part of it will be implemented by UNCDF which has an opportunity to, uh, to present these activities uh, beforehand. So um, there will be one part of cook phone, which will try to put new stove and new cooking solutions into the market. On one part will be in the rural areas to look at how to combat deforestation and the sustainable use of uh, forest. As for the cook phone, it's a performance-based finance instrument, which will provide financial and technical assistance to support the accelerated market rollout of clean cooking solutions, leading to improved environment, jobs, business opportunities along the different value chains. 
So there is a call which is launched now to the, to the private sector. So, uh, and we expect the eligible enterprises, including those who are here today, to apply to this call and propose the new technologies and uh, get the support from, uh, from us, together with the government, to be able to uh, offer them to the different households in the country. The other component I spoke about, it's of 30 billion Tanzanian chilling, and it's about reinforcing the policy and regulatory framework, much needed, uh, have a sustainable value chain for biomass fuel production, and also a huge awareness uh, raising uh, campaign. And I know that, uh, uh, Minister Makamba, you have a lot of ideas for this awareness raising campaign, and we are more than happy to, uh, to see how we could design it to make sure that we reach out a maximum possible um, uh, number of people to sensibilize them about that. So last but not least, I would like to mention our uh, expectation about the program. It's about increasing the share of the population in Tanzania with access to sustainable, renewable energy efficiency and modern cooking solution. It's to support the private sector development and job creation. It's also to, and I'm stealing the words of one of our members here, to get women out of the smoke. So there we would like to promote gender equality, uh, support women's economic empowerment, and give women a voice in the energy sector. So I like very much your idea of getting out of the smoke. Uh, I'm not sure how far we are fast we will be able to do that, but we have given us uh, some light at least to see a bit of uh, the direction to go. Uh, I would like to finish to, by mentioning the National Biomass Energy Strategy that we are very glad to support and uh, uh, hopeful that it will be, uh, uh, let's say, serving your purpose and your objectives uh, from that point of view. I'm handing here and uh, I hope uh, we'll, uh, the European Union will be able to stand uh, together with you to uh, go along this uh, journey uh, to uh, install clean cooking into uh, Tanzania. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Kwa hiyo tutaendelea kushawishi wa shirika zaidi wa maendeleo wa tushirikiane nao katika hili eneo. Kwa hiyo mwisho kabisa ni shukurani. Na washukuru sana. Uh, Nirudie tena kumshukuru mwishmo rais kwa kuja. Mawaziri wenzangu kwa kuja na kuniunga mkono. Uh, na kutia uzito jambo hili. Mwishmo wa Kairuki, mwishmo wa Gwajima, mwishmo wa Jafo. Na mwishmo wa Kairuki, mwishmo wa Gwajima na mwishmo wa Jafo. Uh, na kwa kuzungumza pia katika mkutano huu uh, na washukuru sana mama zangu na viongozi wangu kwa kuja na kuniheshimisha na washukuru wabunge wenzangu sana kwa kuja na mshukuru makamu mwenyekiti wa chama chetu cha mapinduzi ambaye amekuja leo uh, na imani kwamba uh, kama chama cha mapinduzi Tume siku zote tumekuwa mstari wa mbele kuzungumza mambo yanayohusu ustawi wa wanawake. Naamini hili ni jambo jipya ambalo tukilitia kwenye ilani na kulirasimisha basi litatusaidia kujenga uhalali wa kuendelea kuongoza wa Tanzania uh, vile vile. Kwa hiyo nashukuru kwamba umekuja na umeona. Na washukuru wa dhamini wetu Taifa Gas, Rea, TPDC, Oilcom, TMJ, Hospital, Oryx na Songas. Tunashukuru sana kwa kutuwezesha na kusaidia. Wahu... Nawashukuru sana dada zangu wa kuwa mikoa Tabora, Iringa, Morogoro na Shinyanga kwa kushiriki. Na washukuru wa shirika wa maendeleo, wazungumzaji wote, moderators, ndugu yetu Austin kamati jana nilileta hapa lakini kati mkuu na timu yake yote kwa kazi nzuri waloifanya washirika wenzetu wa sekta binafsi tuliofanya nao waliotoa huduma na watu wote waliochangia na kushiriki kwenye mjadala kwa njia zote kwa mtandao na hapa na kwa kweli wahudhuriaji wote naamini mjadala huu sasa utaenda mbele zaidi ambacho kikubwa tumeondoka nacho ni elimu 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 hamasa 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 ushawishi 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 na tutaendelea kufanya hivyo na basi imani yangu ni kwamba tutakapokutana tena Mungu akipenda 
tutakuwa na la kuripoti zuri zaidi uh, kuhusu hatua tulizopiga lakini siku zote tukilala tukipumua tukifikiria tujue kwamba kama nilivyosema siku ya kwanza tuna Julia naona naomba Julia tukae kichwani eh? na wengi walikuwa wanauliza ni kijana huyu ni binti eh? uh, lakini kwa mazingira ya kule uh, analazimika kuganga mala eh? na mimi binafsi kinachonisukuma kabisa kwenye jambo hili ni siku moja hata kama hatupo hata kama sipo walau kazi tuliyofanya iwezeshe picha kama hii isiwepo tena hicho ndio kinachotusukuma kwa hiyo asanteni sana Mungu awabariki sana kwa mamlaka niliyopewa na mheshimiwa waziri wa nishati natangaza kuhairisha rasmi kwa mkutano huu karibuni chai hapo nje sidhani kama kuna chai lakini hakuna chai kwa hiyo tuendelee ku network naomba tuendelee kubadilishana business cards tuendelee kuongea tuendelee kujadili tuendelee kuweka mikakati ya kupeleka nishati